Welcome, welcome everybody to another episode of No Balls, No Glory. I'm the one and only, the original, the people's champ, and I'm not here by myself. I'm here with a couple members of the crew. Say what's up to our listeners, y'all. What's up, everybody? We'll kick it on over with the first lady of No Balls, No Glory, CC in the building. CC, introduce yourself. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, the one, the only TC, the first lady. It is my favorite time of the year. We got playoff action going on, play in tournaments, and there's money. But money back, yo, just say play time over. It's a big league. Let's go. Everybody ain't ready for <laughs> everybody ain't ready to be that bull in the china shop. You either got it or you don't, man. And a lot of these cats don't got it. We got my man D Knows in the building. D Knows, introduce yourself. We had cricket sounds right about now, Greg. We'll play. <laughs> that's my that's my best impression of a cricket. That motherfucker right there. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm finna do the Dino's. Hold on. Don't, Don't worry, fans. We have we, we oh, people. We have a show coming. Apparently, we have some technical difficulties. <laughs> Are you on mute, Dino's? I said the professionals fuck up too. <laughs> they mics be going out and they have to go and bring them a handheld. They be on the wrong <laughs> shot. Somebody be digging in their nose, ain't even talking. So Yeah, Brian Winhurst Brian Winhurst had a microphone in his hand earlier today. Oh, oh he was on get up or one of them. He was on there with the mic with the microphone in his hand. Pick up the microphone. Pick up the mic. Yes. Pick up the microphone. So many my oh man, that's the yeah. Where, 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 where's TNA? I mean, Coach Corey, leave me alone. I got I got my Tennessee hat on today. All right, he go he gonna jump your ass. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, don't worry. He, he's coming for you. Your ass is grass, partner. He's coming for you. I mean, all right, I can switch up. Shit, all right, I'll go back to the damn Mizzou hat. <laughs> Choose. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Next week I have my Carolina, I have my my Carolina hat." He said, "Choose ye this day that whom you will serve." <laughs> he gonna say, "Choose, challenge." Choose. No sand. Then I'll introduce yourself, man. You ain't even been introduced yourself. I, I did, I did, I did. I said, "Whatever, everybody." Uh -huh. it's your boy Dino's Beast by the Source. We having technical difficulties, but we in here. Oh, now, 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 now they heard you. Yeah, now they heard you. You were muted. <laughs> now you just did. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck, say, yeah, I said it. Oh, fuck, you did. When you say it. You said it in my head. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Man, hey, some uh, a podcast I listen to, man. They they uh they they put the sneaker preacher on their soundboard, man. Oh man! I was like, oh, I gotta do it. I gotta you do got, it now. You you gotta get sneaker I, preacher. I am, <laughs> his ass will be on this soundboard 
The next time I'm on here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, what the hell? Hey, that part. <laughs> oh, my God. My God. Michael Jordan never did that move. Who's that coming <laughs> off the goddamn pick? The <laughs> world, <man. laughs> Jordan never did that move. <laughs> That's that's it. happening. Stay tuned. Yeah, Don't go shit. too far. It, 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 it's coming. Hey man, you're gonna, you're gonna shock the world with sneaker preacher. I'm gonna tell you that oh, for a fact. Is, they ain't gonna oh, see the man. shit coming. One of these days, I'm gonna have. There's gonna be a YouTube clip. Uh, my my YouTube channel is gonna have some kind of random video posted because my grandson keeps trying to post. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on, on one quick second. I gotta get this thing. What the hell? So, I don't know if you heard it, you know, I told, uh, well, I thought we, we weren't live yet. I told Chef, I was listening to that, that money back, yo, playtime over. And I said, that's what Steph and, Le that's what Steph and LeBron, they, they came in saying to the Sacramento Kings and uh, New, New Orleans Pelicans. I'm going to switch <laughs> it up tonight. I'm gonna do a little something, something different. Oh Lord! Uh, it ain't gonna be bad. I'm you know we get we get we get a little nervous when you say you're gonna switch something up. Don't get too nervous with me. Your, your, your intrusive thoughts went out way too often. <laughs> I'm the good guy, man. You know we supposed to be able to hear you. I said my button stays over the video off button because he's about to pull up some debauchery. <laughs> he like to he like to go into his spank bank late. We be on live. Pull up some debauchery. Yes, yeah, some debauchery. He don't care. I'm trying to see where is this button at. I am trying to see where is the button. At? Any ideas for a, a, a poll question for this evening? I had one. Um, let me see. I had like I had some. It has something to do with the run sheet, but let me look at it. Um, so either like how much trouble the Cowboys deal like which teams are in, uh, in trouble because you got star players who are not reporting to voluntary uh, OTAs yeah and there's, there's rumors rumbling around that Michael Parsons and C.D. Lamb are not coming if they don't get contracts extensions. We saw that one coming. Right. And Stevie Wonder got, saw that one coming. Or, or the who um, they've been debating who is actually the better, quarter, better best quarterbacks coming out of the draft. Like, is Daniels better than Caleb? Who would you rather Who would you actually rather have? Let's roll with that one. That's a good one since the draft is about a, about a week out. Yeah. Who would you take uh, of the top the top four QBs? Yeah. I'm still not sold on Caleb, so. Oh, she make your house a sanctuary. Because it's like, it's almost, it, it was almost yeah. like they going to. We didn't hear about Caleb well. for so, we didn't have about Caleb for so long. Is he really the better quarterback? And then if it blows up, you know, the Bears just basically gave fields away for a bag of kicking balls. Uh, that could blow up in their face, man. You got all this talent with a rookie quarterback. I I did. <laughs> yeah. I I wouldn't have did it. I, I know why they did it. I wouldn't have done, no, done it. Because you're thinking you finna pass up on the next Patrick Mahomes, but you, shit, you could mess around and end up with the next Jamarcus Russell. Or Keely Smith. Oh, 
Now, BP then went to handle something. So, uh, guess we gonna stall till he come back. <laughs> I see, I, I'm still, I see, I see. I, hey, I'm still pissed at Modot. Just let me go ahead and get that off now before we really, really get into it. Modot. I'm still pissed at Modot. Okay. It's going to no, it's gonna be a while. I just, you know what's so funny? I can't believe none of y'all caught my joke that I put out for my certain. The only person that caught it was VP. I missed it. Y'all missed Sometimes I'll be missing it. I'll look at it, I'll be like, I'm. I'm not. I'm not catching it. She'll explain it Tuesday. <laughs> I took a picture and said, "While I'm down here, I'm gonna go ahead and audition." Magic City. Oh yeah. <laughs> Saturday, oh, oh, Saturday was Saturday was a rough, <laughs> Saturday was a rough day. Man, wait, just wait till my what the hell, and then. You'll see why I kind of was 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 uh, aloof this weekend. Oh, I got I got to pull up the video for my what the hell. Ah, uh, no videos needed. I'm just gonna explain it to you. No, you need my my, my what the hell needs a video because it's it's like stacking a full royalty almost. BP, you all right over there, man? You uh, you you, you coming in and out of camera, man? What what's what's up? Long as we got another dog, we good. How was uh? How was trivia night, man? Cooking now. We are. We all having technical difficulties today, apparently. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'm trying something different. Test, 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 test. You got you got your blue yeti over there, man. This is my son's yeti, man. Okay, so you want to sound crisp, man. like sound great? It's like one of the best mics. You trying to sound crisp, like your boy over here? Am I crispy like you, dog? Man, crispy like straight out the grease. Oh shit! <laughs> I gotta get another. I got. I gotta get another laptop, and I can give me one. Straight <laughs> out the grease. Yeah. Yeah, the people's chat. You, you ain't got to get close. Can you? If you got to set to the right mode, it, it'll pick up anything. What mode, D? What mode you can you set it to? Uh, I am in. I forgot what it's called, but it's the very first mode. So all the way to the left. All the way to the left. Set your gain right at fifty. Test, test, but- test, test. So yeah, you need yep. that with uh, you got to use that with a computer, right? Yeah, that's a USB uh connection. Oh, oh Lord. tell you how good God is, boy. I'm ready, baby. Not I'm you finna stand up, te- not you finna stand up and testify. I'm finna oh. testify how good God is, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, well, folks, it, it, it's gonna be it, a three hour show, so no, no, sit tight. In, in the first hour, he's gonna testify. How good God is! By hour two, he's gonna have his spank bank in full motion. This is gonna be a whole three sixty moment. He's gonna, he gonna wind. He gonna wind it up with people messing with God's good creatures. Gonna, that's how you end it. Oh man! Speaking of that, I got something for you tonight, baby. Oh Jesus! No, I got something good for y'all tonight, baby. I better stay to the end because I got a good what the hell. Oh man, we got some amazing what the hell's coming y'all way. I'm telling you. Percy Payton in the building. What's up, Percy? What up, what up, what up? Hey, hey uh CC. What are those standings looking like in the NBA? Huh? What are those what, look like? What the standings look like for the Bucks? Oh, Hey, I think you got. I think you might have a Chris. I think you might have a Chris. I think hey, you BP. might have one. BP, what's up, man? Your rent's due, motherfucker. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I got. I, I have. To, I have. To, we gotta go. We might have to count them out. But uh, hey, you is, take take we... take control of the screen, and I'll let you count them out. See what we got. 
think it ain't looking too. I, I, I think it ain't looking too good for me to be honest. Once I heard you, Giannis was out for the rest of the season, I'm like, oh, this might be a rap ski. I don't. Think oh, they looking. dropped. They they dropped from two to three. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think it's they, good they only for won me. one game like the last week I can recall, and that was the night yeah. we was on. It ain't looking too good for no, me. No, they won two. They won two. <laughs> I think they want to. Need to be more than two. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's looking good for me, man. Hey, I man. It ain't looking too hot. Stomach growling already. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. all you gotta do is place the order, sir. I will go and pick up the package. I got you, man. You go get place it, man. and pay for the order. I will pick it up from Vales. You will get your food, brother. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah, got- yeah. Unless yeah. you, we got to do a countdown. Let's look at that. I, hey, hey, I'm like the president. I need a final count, baby. <laughs> yeah, look, we we finna have no Chad incident like 2004. I'm like my boy Don Juan, baby. I need me a final count. Yeah, you know I'm saying we ain't having no recount. This ain't no electoral college. I'm like my boy Don Julio, man. I need me a final count, baby. Before I throw in the towel. Don Julio hmm. still ain't through in the towel. He man, y'all he's... ready for these cicadas, though? Cicadas. AKA locusts. The locusts, man. Hey, man, I was looking Indeed. at the uh, I was looking at the story of Moses, man, on uh Netflix. If you guys haven't seen it, man, it's a pretty cool little story, man. And I was just tripping off all the plagues and stuff. And they had that uh, plague with the locusts and the cicadas, the locusts and everything that came and uh, did damage to the crops and stuff, man. And I'm like, wow, man. All right. When did Doc Rivers Rivers take over? Was it January Uh, 29th? They were were 31 and 10, I believe, when he took over. Oh, you got to get the correct date. It was just. It was January twenty ninth. I knew it was like the end of January, early February. We got to get the correct <laughs> dates, man. She on it. She right, on so it. It's January twenty ninth. Okay. All right. So let so let's look. What's the tension over here? Tension. <laughs> it is, man. It is. <laughs> I think I know the final results, but I mean, hey, I got. All right, we good. We, we got it. We got it. We got to do us a count. Oh, yeah. Let's do this good count. We can see this. January January 29th. That was the. So they. They lost that. Uh-huh. So we're going to go to February. So that's two. That's Uh that's 0 and 2. So we just count losses. We have count losses. We we count three. Hey. We go. We gonna say wins and losses. We need to say okay. two wins, one loss. Start all over. Okay, so we let you do that. So we had what? We had two losses. Yeah, zero and two. Zero and two. So now okay. we are one and two. Okay. Now we are one and three. One and four. One and five. One and five. Two and five. Three and five. Three and six. Damn, that was a bad three. That's a, that's a three and seven. How the hell they lose? Three and seven. With nobody. <laughs> four, <laughs> With nobody. Four, four or seven. Uh-huh. Five or seven. Uh-huh. Six or seven. Oh, that's when uh-huh. they went on a little run. Uh-huh. Little street. Seven to seven. They was in 500. All right. Uh-huh. Going into March. Seven and seven. That's eight and seven. All right. Eight and seven. That's seven and eight and seven. There we go. There we go. Nine and seven. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nine got, and eight. That's when the goddamn wheels came off. Nine and nine. <laughs> <laughs> nine and nine. That's when the wheels came off. Ten and nine. <laughs> ten and nine. Ten and ten. Ten and ten. Eleven, Eleven and ten. ten. That's when the wheels. 12 and 10. 12 and 11. 12 and 11. 13. 13 
14 and 11. Uh huh. Let's go. Uh, 14 and 12. Uh huh. 15 and 12. 14 and 13. 14 and 13. 15 and 13. They beat Atlanta. 15 and 13. All right, okay. so that's the end of March. So where are we at? 15 and 13? Yep. 15 and 13. Oh. Yeah, 15 and 13. And watch this streak. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Damn. 15 and 13. 15 and 14. Uh-huh. 15 and 15. Uh-huh. 15 and 16. Oh, shit. 15 and 17. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> 16, 16 and 17. 17 and 17. 17 and 19. <laughs> 17 and 19. Only thing about only thing the bastards had to do was win that Orlando game. They would have had a winning record. They would have been 500. These mother. Oh my god. Go ahead, you know. Oh, I didn't win, man. I'll be damned. <laughs> hey, Coach, Coach, did you, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, shit, we are definitely it's a bright night. Coach, Coach rocking a Cardinals hat. I'll be damned. Lousy, low down, dirty. It's a, it's a cold day in hell. You see Coach rocking a Cardinals hat. Oh, oh man, how did that, that happen, man? Man, that, 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 that stretch where they went one and five. No, you know I what? Told, what happened? No, what happened when they when Giannis went down? Man, that's they was they was gonna at least win. Oh man, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't just when Giannis. It ain't just when Giannis went out. I told you when man. it got down to those last set of games, the Bucks were going to be a. They had home court no matter what. Either they was gonna be two or three, they were gonna have home court in the first round of the playoffs. They were going up against Orlando twice, who needed to move up. OKC, who had to win that game to get the one seed. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is after they dropped the ball. It ain't the last two games that killed them. What killed them, I'm telling you what killed them for real, for real. What killed them was how they started off April. You cannot lose to lottery teams. They lost three games in a row to Washington, Memphis, and Toronto. Mm -hmm. That is <laughs> those are games. Man. Those are games you can't lose. That is just pathetic, man. You can't lose to those guys because, especially when you got when you look at your schedule and you got teams like Boston on your schedule still. OKC okay, on your schedule still. Orlando as good as they've been on your schedule. You can't Pathetic, lose man. to you can't lose the lottery teams. That point is just season. downright pathetic, man. Because if you happen to Pathetic. lose to one of them other teams, it's gonna it's gonna kill you. Yeah, so you on the chicken win a win a chicken dinner for for Dino. Win a winner, I cannot in. believe this, man. Just, just look, cannot believe this. The shenanigan. It, it was looking real good for you in in March, wasn't it? Yeah, he started. He started tasting. He started tasting the chicken already in March. I just knew the chicken was coming home the roof, baby. But I guess uh, <laughs> count the chickens before they hatch, man. You got to April, baby. The wheels fell off. It was just downright pathetic, man. The wheels fell all the way off. Shaking my head, man. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what to say, man. I took it. Yeah, it's just horrible, man. Yeah. I, can, I, I can't say it. Yeah, I, think, I, I think me and D can officially say, I told you so. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that, man. It was it was closer than I thought it was gonna be. I'm I really thought this is gonna ride them to like. I thought they was gonna be like five, six games under. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna take that, man. But hey, it is what it is, man. I I took it. I've been taking a lot of L's, man. So 
It is what it's it okay. is, man. It's Shook okay. My head. Sorry, BP. It's, we all it yeah. all happens to the best of us. We all have our bad days. I mean, we can settle up next time you're in town, man. I got you, brother. We shoot it on. I shoot on out the veil, man. And catch we go. We go out there and chop it up together, dog. Yo, <laughs> I like that. I like that idea, man. But man, I just knew, man. I'm like, man, God, dog. That's why I hope Milwaukee get their ass swept now. Bastards, Doc get fired again. <laughs> now you mad. Doc calls me some good old crunchy wings, too, man. Hot crunchies. Man, hot, good crunchies, man. And he calls me one of them big old, one of them uh, Hawaiian rolls, them butter Hawaiian rolls. I'll tell you, the devil is, the devil is busy, man. I might have to give me some bills, but you know. The devil is busy, man. He stay busy. Well, it's man. a sugar fire in Florida now. That's bad business. They 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 say they are they say they are uh, bringing a uh, lot of water creek over there uh, where the fifty fourth street grill used to be on Lindbergh. Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> they are. You know what the line is gonna look like? Oh my god, it's gonna be bananas, especially on Sundays after people get out of church. It's a wrap. I ain't going nowhere near that piece on the weekends. That's a weekday trip only. <laughs> You, you know how many churches are over there in that area? A bunch. A Shalom. Of church. Oh, man. Olivet over there. Our church over there. Man, it's some... Uh, what's... Uh, man. We uh, should just, we <laughs> just go, go and get, like, the, the bread and the butter. Like, just going, like, hey, we just want a dozen, dozen of the rolls and give us, a, like, a pound of butter. It's going right. to be a lot of people there. Coach Corey in the building. Coach Corey, you there? Introduce yourself, Coach Corey. Don't worry, Coach. <laughs> I got I got the cricket earlier too. Oh yeah, Coach Corey. There you go. No, that ain't him. Hey man, let's go and kick it on off. What we supposed to kick it on off at? Major League Baseball, man. Uh, man, got some baseball stuff. We got some baseball stuff oh, kicking off. Oh, there he is. I'm here, man, but I'm my, I got a different camera, man, and it's not working for me, man. Acting goofy. No, I have yeah, to we, download. It, it was just earlier. Man. When you first came on, we saw you. Yeah, that's the computer. Oh, okay. Y'all was a computer coach? Computer, man. Yeah, the computer, the computer uh, camera is decent. You got a webcam, coach? It's a face cam with Elgato for that live stream. Oh. Deck. Oh, okay, okay. You know, try on technical. Like my guy, like my guy Dino's over there. So uh, I can uh, still run the soundboard. Because usually, once you just take it home. Well, I think only you know? one person can do it at a time, though. But if you ain't here, that would be one person. Yeah. He said that would be the one person. He's going to act brand new on me. Damn, Dino. <laughs> Hey, stall me out, Debo. <laughs> he say, stall me out, Debo. <laughs> he say, stall, stall me, me out, out, Debo. Hey, man. Hey, man, we got uh, I, 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 I to... I don't see where I'm downloading it. Hey, man. Hey, coach. Man, I got it. Let me see if what, I got that. And what, man? What? I want to make sure I sent that over to the group. Not Glenn Allen, man. It was something that just really had me just like, oh my god, man. It was something that was just really bananas, man. I thought I put it in the group. 
and everything. I'm looking right now because this is definitely baseball related, man. Let me see if I got it on her, man. Hey, man, all I feed him a guy, Whitey Herzog, man. The white rat passed oh, away. Oh, he passed today? Yeah, man. Whitey Herzog passed today, man. Dang. Not the white rat, man. Not okay, the white that would explain, rat. That would explain the cardinal hat. Man, yeah, man. That's why I got the white cardinal hat on, man. Man, the white rat, man. man. The white if you look at uh, the Cardinal broadcast, man, uh, Al Hrabowski and uh, Jim Evans are visibly shook today, man. Al, Al Hrabowski was 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 it is real shook, man. I, I mean, I'm surprised he even on air, man. That's how right. shook he looks. Well, hey, in that case, man, let me. Uh... Let me switch up. I put my Tennessee hat on so you can you can uh, stall me out, coach. But uh, in light of the news, I will don the cardinal cap this evening. Oh, please! White rat, man. You talking about a St. Louis legend? And he is the founder and creator of Whitey Ball, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. Like I, I, that came across my across my phone today, man, and it, it, it really shook me up, dog. Because uh, I've had the opportunity to run into Whitey Herzog several times, man, and, and uh, one of the guys that I coach with, man, uh, played in a Cardinal organization. He happened to be working at just a random job, man, and Whitey Herzog ran into him man and was he was like you played in the organization right and he was like yeah and he actually remembered that young man from from being in a cardinal organization remember the position we hear you now coach all right, I'm back. I got my <clears throat> I got my white cart hat on now. Oh man! Hey man, we got to get our condolences to Sterling Moody, man, from Sterling's Market. Sterling passed today, man. Sterling Moody passed today. Yesterday. Sterling Moody, man. If you ain't never been to Sterling Market, man. Mm -hmm. Sterling Moody, man. From Sterling's Market, man. Sterling Moody, man. Hey, man, give me one second. I'm going to log out and log back in and get my camera working. All right, Coach, we'll give you a second, man. I'm trying to find this thing that I, I thought I shared it in a group. I am looking for it too. Where is it at, man? It was just bananas, man. Let me look at it right here to see if I got it on my other channel. Ooh. Let me see here. We got. Dino, you there? CDC, you there? Yeah, I'm still here. I was just uh, I'm still here. Yeah, I was getting ready to put the poll in for the night. 
I had to go. My bathroom was acting goofy, so I had to go get my new. So I changed shirts. I'm waiting for Coach to get back because I want to share. I want to share this about college baseball, man. Figured I'd join in. Mm-hmm. Crawford, what's up, man? My boy Roosevelt Crawford in the building. What Thanks is Crawford? What's up? Man, we're gonna talk about major league baseball before we jump off into that one. Uh it's this one gonna have your head scratching. Now we got MLB that's cracking tonight. Let's see where our stand is at. Yankees got Major League best 12 and 5. Baltimore, they in second behind the Yankees and the Blue Jays and Cleveland, 11 and 5. Kansas City, shocker. That's the shocker right there. Kansas City, 11 and 6, man. They will. They typically fizzle out. It's still early. Atlanta and uh, Phillies ten and five apiece. Brewers ten and five. Pittsburgh eleven and six. Cardinals a dismal eight and nine. Dodgers eleven and eight. Padres ten and nine. Coach Corey, you the back yet, man? I'm here, I'm here. We were just talking about baseball. Uh, I'm going to start this video with you guys real quick. I heard you say something about the Phillies. Uh, they up top with the Braves, man. Still early, but I mean, hey, they playing good baseball, man. Let me share this with you guys. I don't know if you had guys had a chance to look at it over the weekend, but uh, Georgia and Mississippi State, <laughs> they had they got into it. Eleven players were ejected. Eleven players. Let me show. Let me share with you guys. I know, man. You oh, yeah, that, that's a, that's a good one, baby. That's a <laughs> right good one, as they say. <laughs> that would have shot out in the gap and right. Picked up on one hop out there by Heising. They're going to send the runner. Carter coming home to throw well in time. Oh, he lowered his shoulder and ran over the pitch. And Johnny Long, one hop out there by Heising. Look at it. They're going to send the runner. Hey, make that big. Make that big. He is. He's so new to that would have shot out in the gap and right. Make that long up on one hop out there by Isaac. It. They're going to send the runner. Carter coming home to throw well in time. And he is out. Wow. And Johnny Long getting a little aggressive behind the plate. And both pitches. <laughs> Getting a little excited. Chris Lamonis out there telling his team to get back to the dugout. Not sure what that was all about, but the throw was there in plenty of time. From what looked to be a pretty normal tag play, and Johnny Wall just carries him. And then just lets him know about it. And I, I didn't say. I mean, oh, and then did, did he knee him right in the rib cage? He's pushing him. Well, like, I didn't see anything that Dylan Carter did. I mean, what does Carter do? Nothing besides trying to slide head first. Right. Like, and Johnny Long just goes after him here. Fantastic relay, by the way. And. I, to me, that's a, that's just over the top. Yeah, he's kneeing him in the ribs. Like, like, him twice. What? Yeah, I mean, come on, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, come on, Johnny. 
Hey man, he that left. Just excessive to me. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's history there that we don't know about. But you know, he tags him out, flip the ball back to the mound, and run to the dugout. Like, what's what's the rest of this all about? I, I don't, I don't see what happened there. But kind of a wider shot <laughs> to see what. Yeah, I don't. I don't... What you think about that, Coach? <laughs> Excessive or not? Hey, I'm not. A, I'm not. A, uh, I lie. Coaches. I mean, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine players from Georgia out of the dugout, and of course Mississippi State. I have so, a gap, so that I well, can't need not to really see. Some of them have jackets on, so you can't get numbers. Hold on, what you say, Coach? They play Georgia. Mississippi State, but hey man, I think let me see, let me let me look at Georgia's Georgia's baseball, Georgia's schedule, man. I'm, I'm not like a person, but I guess I'm a lot of all right, Georgia Bulldogs baseball, University of Georgia. Yeah, that's a little excessive. That hey, that that was more than a little bit excessive, man. I think that was really, I think that was too excessive, man. Hey, man. Very excessive, man. Hey, and, and, and he dove head first and everything, and he he not only put his knee in his knee in him. I mean, I do I did stuff like that, but I, as far as like rat, I'm I'm telling you, I I, I threw, when you slide in the home plate head first on me, man, I put hey, I'm putting these shin guards right in your mouth. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's oh, how yeah. I did it, man. Oh, yeah. he, he did. He did it right. He did it right. But when he at the at the he uh at the tagged him, he rolled him, and, and he rolled him too much. And next thing you know, uh. 11 players getting ejected, man. And that was because of the, uh, what's the name? Well, that was because of the coach. I'm going to say this, man. I'm going to say this. The catcher, I don't know what the problem was, but the catcher was way too excessive. And whatever he did, it shouldn't have been done. It shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have been. They don't play no more in this season. They play each other. Uh, next time Next time they play each other is possibly in the SEC tournament. Hmm. So, man, I, that was just straight up bad blood, man. I don't know what prompted the catcher for doing that. Besides, besides getting your players hurt next time, and and, and somebody getting hit and plucked next time they play, right? Man, next time they play, man, it's gonna be a bad situation, man. I think my third girl like that's all right. Yeah, that was that was real. Real, 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 real. I don't know what it was all about. I don't know what it's all about neither, but uh it's safe to say next time they meet, the catcher is gonna probably be wearing one, man. Oh he's eleven should. players get ejected. Is she eleven she players nice? He should get a nice cut and rock on the side of his head. Oh, man. Because it was uncalled for. It was completely uncalled for. Get the third out. Run, get the third out, run back to the dugout, and be done with it. That's all you got to do. 
That's totally all you got to do. That was just, that was totally uncalled for, man. Totally uncalled for. Now, uh, he, he got to wear one next time they meet. He got to wear one. I wouldn't care if this is last game and next time we face each other is in the pros. He gonna still have to wear one in the pros. I agree with that Somebody statement. gonna find him. Somebody gonna find him. Somebody is gonna Somebody. find him. They go. They go get his ass, man. Because he can brought that's that on himself. That's unfortunate because that didn't even have to go down like that. It did. It, it it was completely uncalled for, man. I just had to show that, man, about college baseball, man. Hey, you got jerks in college baseball, too, man. You got jerks, man. You got jerks in college baseball, man. You got jerks on all levels, man. But uh, like Coach Corey say, oh, yeah, uh, definitely. condolences go out to the family of Whitey Herzog, man, the white rat. And we lost him at the age of 92, man. Hey, I'm telling you, uh, my favorite Whitey Herzog story was when uh, I wish I could call Steve Bias, man. Matter of fact, man, I'm gonna see if I can reach Steve Bias right now, man. And Steve Bias got an amazing Whitey Herzog story, man. Hold on one second, I'm gonna see if I can reach Steve Bias, man. Steve Bias, man, I'm on here. I'm on no balls, no glory right now, man. We were just talking about the passing of Whitey Herzog, man. Steve, hey, Steve, I need you. You there, Steve? Hey, man, I need you to share with the crew on no balls, no glory, your Whitey Herzog story, man. Okay. Go ahead, Steve. You guys here, Steve? Okay. I, I was uh, I was reporting the card at the time for a Q106. So I was down in the locker room every day. Uh -huh. So after this game, the Cardinals had lost this game. Whitey had used Tony Pena. He used Vince Coleman. Vince Coleman was hurt. He had a wrist injury. And I wonder why you put me into a uh, pinch hit. And then they brought in uh, Jose Akinta uh -huh. to hit. So Jose strikes out. Uh -huh. So I go downstairs. I go downstairs and talk to uh, some of the players. But before I went to talk to the players, I went to talk to Whitey in his office. In the office is a bunch of media guys, you know, newspaper guys, radio guys, and and Zip Zeppa. Zip was Rizepa. a uh, sportscaster for News Channel Five at the time. Uh huh. Was in it was the uh, was in Whitey's office as well. Uh huh. So Whitey notices Zip with his cameraman. Uh huh. And Whitey says, "What the fuck are you doing down here? You ain't been down here all goddamn season." Uh huh. Get your ass <laughs> out of my damn. <laughs> Get your ass out of my damn office. Uh huh. So. Zip Lee. And so they went, he was asking questions. So here, here comes my question. He said, well, why did you pitch hit uh, for, uh, I forgot who it was with, Jose Akendo, when you had this coma out with a wrist injury and some other guy that you wanted to bat? Why did you choose him to bat? He tells me, what kind of fucking question is this? I said, there's nothing wrong with the question, right? He says, who is this cocksucker? I said, I'm Mr. Cocksucker to you, oh, uh, oh, Whitey. You can not talk to me any kind of goddamn way you want to. He said, okay, we'll get the fuck out of my office. I said, okay. So I left out. All right, so I leave out. I walk toward uh, Ozzy's uh, locker and Jose's locker. And they heard me, they heard me and Whitey screaming. So they look at me and they shake their head. I'm like, oh, shit. 
I lost my press pass. I won't be able to come down here no more. Right. So I waited for about two weeks to go down to uh, Bush Stadium. Uh huh. So I went up to the I went, I went through I went up to the elevator up on section four. That's where they all the press people are. And I sat down. So uh-huh. somehow Whitey found out that I had come back. Uh huh. So one of the so, so one of the white writers says that says to me. Whitey wants to speak to you. All right, so Kevin Kev was with me. And so Bug, he was a writer for the uh, the Sentinel and the East St. Louis Month. Bug Watts. So Ken said, Watts. Come on, y'all. Whitey wants to see me. I want y'all to go down here with me. Because I don't want those shit to turn to pop up. <laughs> <laughs> so I take them down there with me. And Whitey was sitting at his desk. I walk in. Whitey said, are you biased? I said, yes, sir. He said, uh, sit down. He said, I'm sorry the way I talked to you. Uh, and, uh, I, and I want to give you an apology. I'm like, well, damn. To myself, I said, well, I'm sorry for talking to you like that too, Whitey. He said, okay. Hey, well, sit down. You guys want to uh, beer? And I looked at Kevin Kev and, and Bug and said, yeah, go ahead, get, get, get a beer. So behind Whitey's desk was a huge Budweiser can, and all it had was beer in it. Uh-huh. He pours a glass, he pours uh, a Bud's the glass, and Kevin's Kev said he didn't want it. So I'm sitting in the office with Whitey. It was just three of us. He said, yeah. He said, I don't know what to think about this team. The team is playing like horse shit, and I just don't know what to do. You know, now at the time now, they had traded uh, 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 Willie McGee for Felix Jose. Oh, the okay. Oh, and he won All a right. bad title that year. Because Willie, before that, me and Willie was talking about how much he should pass because Mickey Henderson was making three million a year. Uh huh. And so I said, "Well, you know, Mickey's making three once, go down to two. He said, "Okay," but then you know that's his because they traded they traded Willie away. So we sitting down there with Whitey. He said, it's pretty really like horse shit at the time. You know, they were saying, oh, this that's Ozzy's team. That ain't Whitey's team. That's Ozzy's team. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right. So then he says, I just don't know what to do. So two weeks later, Whitey steps down as being the manager of the St. Louis court. Dang. And that's what happened. Dang. Wow, man, that was a who took who took who took over uh, after Whitey stepped down until Joe Torrey was hired. Was that something or what? Yeah, see who took over. Who took over after Uh, Whitey? uh, Was that uh, when uh, Joe Torrey? Let me tell you who Joe Torrey did. Because I once they named Joe Torrey the manager. Uh huh. And I went down to the locker room, and you know Joe Torrey's, which was in Whitey's old office, it was packed. It was full of reports. Uh huh. But then, you know, I you know, to the left, I see Reggie Jackson. I'm like, oh shit, that's Reggie Jackson. Uh huh. So I went over and spoke to Reggie and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And uh, and that was it. And that's when the Joe Tory uh began, huh? That's when the Joe Tory era. Began. Wow. <laughs> Joe Tory was a cool, cool dude, though, man. <laughs> Hey man, they say Joe Torrey was a cool dude. Steve, was he cool? I didn't get a chance to really get close to Joe Torrey. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Know, after Whitey had resigned, I really didn't go down there that much. You know, I went down to speak to some players that I from different teams, but as far as talking to Joe Torrey, I did. Okay. Man, Steve, man, I had to share. I told, I was telling the people on uh, the the crew on the show that you had a Whitey Herzog story for the ass, man. And hey, man, <laughs> appreciate you sharing this story, man. But uh, Whitey Herzog passed away today at the age of ninety-two. Man, man rest in peace to the White Yo, Rat. He was a great manager. He was a great manager. A great and, manager. You know, a great manager. He knew his team. He knew what type of ball club he wanted to. Uh, make and as soon as uh Joe Torrey after he became manager it was bird rap and then it came to La Russa. and La Russa didn't like Ozzy 
He didn't like uh, 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 Terry Pendleton. He, he wanted to get rid of all the stars. Damn. And uh, he did. He kept Brian Jordan. But did Brian Jordan was was sucking up to him. What about Ray? What about Ray? Ray Langford? He didn't like Ray. I like Ray. Ray. Ray was fine. Ray was hitting fifteen home runs a year at the time, so they weren't gonna mess with Ray. Because uh, Ray was kind of new to the league. Okay. So you know. And because uh, Ray, I heard Ray was making over a million dollars when he was in the uh, the minor leagues. So they had their sights on Ray Ryan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Man, Steve, man, I love the baseball history you got, man. I appreciate you tuning in. Man, hey, man, just sharing that knowledge with us, man. I'm finna go get back to the show, man. But Thank you, Steve, for sharing that with us tonight, man. We appreciate hey, it. Thank you, guys. Is uh, Coach Rick with you tonight? No, nah, Coach Rick is not with us tonight, man. He's been uh, doing a lot of uh, referee. He's been on refereeing and doing other stuff with his son and stuff, his grandson. That's a granddaddy. So, man, he uh still yeah. also coaching yeah. at uh, McClure. At McClure, no, uh -huh. it's McClure. McClure. He said McClure because my uh, grandson played basketball for me. Oh, okay. Your grandson played with him? Yeah, he played. Yeah, he played. Man, don't don't you curse my yeah. school like that. All right, well, thank you, Brian. Thank you for hey, me, hey man. Steve, man, we appreciate it, man. I'm gonna circle Call back around and talk to you, man. Hey, for sure. Uh, much success on the show, man. We appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. -o. All right, bye bye. All right, bye. That was a great Steve bias, baby. Yeah, good man. I mean, last week we had we had a Bob Probert story, and now, now we got a. We got a Whitey Herzog story, man. Hey, man, he had a great – he had him and Whitey Herzog. He said Whitey Herzog cursed him out. He cursed him out, but I think he gained Whitey respect after that, man. And that's what it is about the game of baseball, just getting the respect, man. Getting the respect, man. So uh, condolences go out to Whitey Herzog, the entire Cardinals organization, man. Hey. He he made me really fall in love with baseball, man. He really did, man. And everybody got nothing but good things to say about him. One of the one of the keen minds of baseball, Mr. Whitey Herzog, gone but not forgotten at the age of ninety two, man. Hey, man, NHL playoffs, Z. <laughs> NHL playoffs, man. Yeah. Uh, that's the top of the what? No blues. Let's no blue. Did you say no blues, coach? Let's go book a tea time. Because y'all asked is eliminated. Let's no blues. No blues, man. No, blues. no playoffs in St. Louis. Dang, man. So, you know, you know what? Battle Battlehawks. I mean, the Battle Hawks. I mean, we got plenty of other things to do, so we, we okay. Man, the Blues, man, are eliminated, man. When does the uh, playoffs officially kick off? Have they started? Uh, the I think about a week from tomorrow, I believe. They got a few more games. They got what? Yeah. Like another week or so. They kick off. I think they kick off next week. What did you say, CC? It's about Saturday with the NBA. The 20th. Yeah, NHL and NBA start at the same time. Oh, they both kick off on Saturday, huh? The long, they have the longest playoff <laughs> sports. Oh, my God. They don't start mid-April and don't end to, like, sometimes mid-June. Two, two months of playoffs. Yeah, the Blues are eliminated. The last game of the season for the Blues is tomorrow night in Dallas. Man, they'll probably get smoked. They go probably they ain't gonna play too many people, man. But uh, nothing to it play is for. what it is, man. Nothing to but play you know for. What I'm pull, you know what I'm pulling for, BP? What's that? Canadian champion. You are still on the Canadian championship. I got a good chance of most of the Canadian teams qualify. They do. Hey man. I got I got five I got five good ones in there. You do. Winnipeg, Vancouver, Toronto. <laughs> Obviously didn't make it. Um, missing one. Edmonton. Edmonton. Edmonton was the one I forgot. Yeah. 
it's gonna be interesting what we do. Uh, what this NHL starting to look like, man. It will be a great one, hey, man. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. You got it's some always tight fun. teams in there, man. It's always this playoffs fun. gonna be fun, man. Hey, so prime example. I gotta ask you a question, dude. I gotta ask all y'all a question. So we all know the teams that's in the uh. That's in the playoffs and everything. Well, majority of the teams that's in the NF NHL playoffs. So, if you had, if they gave you some tickets to the Predators and Vancouver. They say you free of charge. You just come down here to Nashville. Would you make your way down to Nashville to catch that game? For me, it, it would be tough because I'm a, I actually have a rooting interest in the Blues and in, 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 in hockey. Now, if it was like basketball, well, you didn't like have that, no team. If I ain't had no team, I would do it. But the fact that I, I'm, I'm a Blues fan, it'd be tough for me to go unless you unless it's the Cup Finals, which I haven't been to. That would be the only one I'd go to. So you would go to Stanley Cup Finals. If it was the Stanley right? Cup Finals, I would go. But just regular first round, second round, no. conference, no, no way. No, it's, okay, it's got to be championship. And the crappy part is when the Blues finally won after 50 years in uh, 2019. I couldn't even, uh, I couldn't even celebrate, man. I was working. I was out of New York working, and I was in the hotel room. And I couldn't really party because I had you to get go up. Down, at, like, you didn't go down to the ball and watch the game, but you watched it in your room. I had to get up. I had to get up at five in the morning, so you know it was it was going to be a short night for me. So I just get down so in my hotel. Watched it in your room. Watched it in my room by myself. Damn, man, they didn't have a bar in the in the bottom of the hotel. You could have went down. There I mean, there, there was a bar, everybody. but I knew if I start, I knew if I started going down there and and drinking. Because uh, where I went to eat at, it was a Bruins fan sitting next to me. So I gave him shit for about an hour. And then I came <laughs> on back <laughs> to my hotel. Oh, yeah. And you was in New York. You was outnumbered, cuz. <laughs> yeah, I was like, let me take my ass back to my room. <laughs> <laughs> you on uncharted territory. I ain't got nobody else out there with me. Ain't nobody watching my back. Yeah, let me go back to the hotel. Hey, man. That's crazy, man. Hey man, we, we do gotta talk about it though, man. WNBA, man. Uh man, 2.4 million viewers last night. They had 2.4 million viewers last night for the WNBA draft. It crushed the previous record, man. 2.4 million viewers, man. Wow. For the draft, yes. that was the average. The average it peaked to 3.9 million, 3.09 million. I mean, they've been they've been pushing it. And the ladies, and the ladies actually, and you can tell they they went out, got their fits right. Uh, Kaylin Clark was in a Prada suit. Oh yeah, <laughs> Kaylin Kayla Clark looked like an attorney, man. She looked like a young attorney, you know that the way she was dressed last night. She dressed, Camille, she dressed like Cardoso, an attorney. I like that. I like that. I like the suit that Camelia Cardoso wore. Oh, <laughs> oh, Camille. Yeah. Oh yeah, she tall as hell, man. God hell, that that's the true version of an Amazon. How tall is she? Six foot seven. I finna say she's like six seven, six eight. <laughs> yeah, I'm already trying to get some tickets to go to Chicago and watch them. No ball. Hey man, and she's from Brazil too. On the team. She, she came over here, Camila Cardoza. She came over here at the age of fifteen by herself. Huh? By herself. By yeah, herself. Good. How'd she do that? I don't know how she did it. She the fact she came over by herself couldn't speak English. Would you say that coach? Coach say on the boat in the middle of the night. But she managed to but she managed to get through high school and get into college. I, the girl, the girl, the girl she taught her she taught herself. She taught herself English. The girl behind me, Raven. Mm. 
the, the Ra Raven, Raven still is cool though, right? Raven's cool, but Raven and her have been playing together since high school. They have been. They like, they like real up. good friends. Yep. Raven helped her out. What's the name of uh what's the name of then look uh Cameron Brink, the number two? She looked like she was uh coming from the Oscars and stuff. If you guys saw her outfit, uh Not Cameron Oscars. Brink from Stanford, yeah. She look hey man, she had an Oscars outfit on, man. Let me let me see if I can go pull up Cameron Brink's uh outfit, man. She looked like she was coming from the Oscars, man. She was the number two overall. With her, with her parents and her godmama in attendance. Who is her godmom? See. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, so that. Uh, what's her name? Um. Step mom. That's step gossip. Sonya Curry. Oh yeah, Sonya Curry. Sonya Curry's her godmom. Oh wow. If this is not a, a hey, look at it. If this is not a, uh, a, a, a Grammy Academy Award dress, this is one of the red carpet. Not, uh, I'm going to the draft. This is I'm I'm just going to the Academy. I'm going to the Oscars dress. Who love Angel Who love Angel Reed? He's a black screen. I just see a black screen. You can't see it, uh, Coach. <laughs> she she toned it down. That is not toned down, you know. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't see the whole thing. Back in the that is not toned down. Oh yeah, this 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 definitely a prom dress. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's a straight prom dress right there, dog. Hmm. That is a prom dress at its finest. Uh -huh. yeah, maybe I need to see the whole thing. Yeah, that that that's not. Working. I don't know. Cause the code out, code out was. I was looking at it wasn't working, but let me call you see, back. Er, see, everybody else, everybody else, look at them. Uh, Angel Rick, I mean, Carmilla, uh, I mean, uh, yep, Camilla. Look at them, man. They, uh, Rakia, look how they look, you man. That is not where Rakia, Rakia changed clothes. That's the red carpet. Rakia changed clothes. Oh, uh, uh, she just, uh, she just changed up. She, yeah, she did not. That was not what she had on when she got drafted. That was her red carpet outfit. Hey, see, what, did she have on some more ratchet attire? <laughs> more ratchet. She don't have to miss the attire. More ratchet. Hey, CC. Hey, what was the draft? Let me look here. Let me look. Uh... Yeah, cool look. Oh, her draft know, look. So, oh, yeah, this is a completely different look. Yeah, she had two different looks. Yeah, like she going to work. Oh man. She looked like the ultimate professional on her, man. She giving she giving you executive vice president look right there, man. That's executive VP look right there. She give you the court the corp look. She get hey, that's corporate at its finest, right, D? And they I mean, they probably her. Her. She, she looked like Whitney Houston did in the bodyguard, the queen of the Nile. Hey, look <laughs> and look and, and look at this old captain right here trying to help her down, bro. She an athlete. She don't need no help getting down that damn step. Man, them heels was so high. Yes, she did, partner. She good, partner. Them heels. They go, my boy. Damn. When my boy was the number one overall pick, baby. You know what? You're the alphabet people are going to get you. That's my boy, you, man. You on the you on the list, BP? Yep. 
Oh you man, hey, 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 I better not be on the list, man. You're on the list. Hey man, hey, but yeah, pull up, let, let, pull up that, pull up that. Uh, look at the WNBA schedule. Look what games you'll first. That joker is going to be sold out. Uh, let me see here. WNBA, I'm looking at all the picks. WNBA schedule, right? Yeah, first. They season right around the corner. Yeah, they don't get no time. <laughs> Straight to it. WNBA. They, they graduate. They graduate college. <laughs> Get about a month and a half. Get two weeks. Oh, you talking about Chicago? You talking about June first? Chicago and Indiana? (laughs) No. God damn. We good? Yeah. They coming right out the fire, ain't they? They coming right out swinging, ain't they? Kayla, Kayla got to go up against Angelique. Oh, man. Both of them not going to the championship again. Oh, man. Peter's champ, I got them fire tater tots. You got the tater tots, Coach? Did I? So Wait, the better question is. Do you, you have fruit time? Angel Reese. I ain't getting no salad, dog. I'm boycotting hey, salad. <laughs> and she going against Carmilla Cardoso. Oh, man, she in yeah. trouble, man. She's going against Cardoso and Angel Reese. Out the game. Hey, man, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm trying to go to India and see them play. I want to know. I want to know who's on her team, man. Who's her on her team with the Indiana Fever? Let me see who. What noticeable? Damn, they couldn't have came up with a better team name than the Fever. Aaliyah Boston's on there who played for um, South Carolina the year before. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Aaliyah Boston versus Court. Oh, that's gonna be tough, dog. But well, wait a minute. You trip off who are the Chicago side. They also got they got Angel Reese too. Man, they got Angel. Oh man, man. no, but 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 who they need head coach for? Who? For the staff. For new head coach. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go look. Let me go look. I ain't gonna tell you. I'm gonna let you look. Four schedule. Mm. Chicago Sky. I'm looking for their coach. Like we tell you, because we have a hard time now. You say? Yeah. Teresa with the school. Teresa to Witherspoon? Oh, man. You know, that game going to be probably one of the most highest rated games of the season, man. That's going to be a high rated game, see? Oh, man. Ooh, wee. Do you, hey, and I bet, and I bet you, Caitlin and uh, what's the name of Elena Boston gonna become besties? Why? I bet you they gonna become besties because Elena Boston needed help in Indiana with her last year, and she got help. God damn it, she got good help now. So she can, she can do some damage. That's a one-two punch right there. After she got drafted, right? I knew instantly all that crap about the big three. Yeah. Hey, I think. Because guess because you see who was at you see who was at I don't know if you saw who was at the draft with her. Wait, who? Uh, Caitlin. Oh, yeah, who was at the draft? Who was her with? They, 
Jake from State Farm. So you know State Farm threw some money. It's going <laughs> to money. From Jake State from State Farm. Farm. They straight Damn up right. had Jake from State Farm there. They put up a billboard at Times Square with her and him right after she got drafted. There is a, um, Gatorade rolled out a new commercial with her. If I can do, if I can sign with Gatorade, you can too. Oh my she, god, man. She got a Buick commercial. She got a Nike commercial. She's going to surpass that $5 million that the Big Three was offering her in endorsements alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then she can go talk to any women's group out there and stuff. She's going to be... Oh, yeah. Yeah. She, her money yeah. is not going to be made in the WNBA just yet. Because it's gonna be on w- endorsements. It's gonna be she's gonna kill it in endorsements. But you know what? I think she's gonna be the first WNBA player that's gonna eclipse the millions mark. That's gonna be uh making a couple million dollars a season. Cause she is gonna be considered the LeBron of the WNBA. And on top of that, she's white. So I mean, it's nothing nothing to say that, but hey. Larry we'll Bird, see. hey, when we'll Larry, see Bird, how. Larry Bird came out, Larry Bird was killing people, man. He was killing people. That's Larry Bird, shit. Larry Bird, he said, that's disrespectful putting the white boy on him. He said, don't you ever, he said, man. Want, uh, the NBA, NBA League pass, just to put it in reference, NBA League pass, you can break it down in monthly installments, right? Uh-huh. It's $15 a month. WNBA is WNBA is like eight dollars a month. Seven seven ninety nine. That shit month. ain't go that shit ain't gonna last at eight seven dollars, eight dollars too long. That shit gonna go up. Hey, that that cost is gonna go up to around ten to twelve dollars a month. What? I'm telling you. What well, hey, I'm saying is that women. that's when that's when it's gonna start. That's when it's gonna start to um uh, bye bye. That's, That's what it's going to say. That's my guy, boy. Look like a dog. It's going to be more than that. You know what? Why do you say that? You look like a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Do Las Vegas got a woman's team? Yeah, Aces. Well, back to back Aces. Okay. Okay. The Aces. I'm As of right now. But he's in the end of fever, and the Las Vegas Aces are going for $3,500 a week. Oh! What's that? So you saying Indiana or uh, and Chicago against the Aces going for 3500 I didn't even look, but we looked at Indiana Fever versus the Las Vegas Aces. Courtside seats were $3,500. Dang. (laughs) This was yesterday during the draft. Courtside seats were $3,500. Hey, man. That's crazy, man. Wow. You know what? I'm I'm, kind of getting getting, 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 – What's that? But then you could get a ticket in section 200 for 40 bucks. I figured out. Damn. I figured out. Hey man, I'm getting hyped. Hey, I, I'm kind of liking the uh, kind of liking this college. But I would spend 125 and be in section 107. Down there. Oh yeah. Coach, I gotta ask. What's that college? I, I is that a college? Hey, hey, coach, is that a college baseball game over your uh, left shoulder, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Texas A&M. And, uh, is that Georgia? Uh, that's Texas Tech and Arkansas. Texas Tech and Arkansas. Texas Tech and Arkansas. Raise the backs. Oh, wow. You left the home opener for 
Oh, it's going to be some. Row three. Row three? No, those are row two. Row two, I'm sorry. Row three or $900. Those are $100 a week. Row two. Man, they still. Hey, man, they starting to make their money, man. They starting to get money off that, man. They starting to get money off that, man. They starting to get money off that, man. Yeah, that's when that's when things are gonna start changing. When they uh when the view when the when the viewership gets up on those NBA league pads, the start, they start packing out these arenas, and then the demand comes for TV. Cause that's why the NBA players are getting paid the money they're getting paid because of the TV money. Wow. That's why they get paid the money they get paid. So that's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. That is crazy, man. Let me see. Is it, let me see. Why is it not letting the vote, votes go through? They ain't letting us vote. They say the votes ain't going through, man. I'm trying to see what's up with the votes, man. Did you close the poll, D? No, it's still open. For some reason, it's not. It's not letting you cast a vote, man. The vote, what's it telling you? I clicked on Jaden Daniels. Your vote did not go through. Try again. Hmm, maybe it's YouTube acting goofy. I think it is. I think it's a YouTube thing, man. Yeah, because I hey, see man. I see three votes in there. I know I put yeah. one in. Yeah, I'm trying. I tried to put a couple in. I tried to put one in, and they wouldn't let me put one in. So, uh, man, uh, rest in peace, to my cousin, man, Ornthal James Simpson, man, better known as the Juice, better known as OJ, man. You know they go in threes, man. So somebody else is probably on the way. Ah, damn, dude. You just I mean, put somebody, you just put somebody in the ground, brother. I mean, if, is what I'm saying not true? No. I mean, uh, don't factual statements, man. What do you? What you say? They usually pass in threes. Usually, yeah, usually can... most celebrities or athletes. Or artists, when one pass is usually like three notables. They usually go around the same time. I know Lou Gossett passed away about three weeks ago. Not brother Lou. Lou Gossett Jr. Jr. Brother Lou. Iron Eagle. I don't know what's wrong. Son, we only got one person watching. I know that's a lie right there. That's why I said something. Something wrong with YouTube. YouTube is quirky right now, man. Yeah, if, if, it, if, anybody, if anybody's watching, can you put a number one in the chat? Then that'll, that'll answer that right there. Because it ain't even allowing you to put nothing in the chat. Nothing's going through? Did they time us out and didn't tell us? We couldn't have been timed out. I just put a test chat in there. Let's see. if There you go. Some, some is definitely there's the one. Man, if you are crazy. tuned in to No Balls, No Glory, if you could do us a favor and put a number one in the chat, we appreciate it. A number one, a number two, a number three, some in the chat for it. Shout out to the Central Illinois Scratcher. My cat. <coughs> I don't know nothing about Central Illinois Scratcher. That's my boy in the building. CIS, baby. Central CIS. Illinois Scratcher in the building. It's not, y'all not, y'all not see, y'all not <laughs> law and order not, see. Shout see, out to the shout out to the pow, shout out to the powwow with the pals. They jumped in the group chat, man. Good peoples, man. Central Illinois Scratcher. 
uh, the powwow with the pow. God damn, man. We got good people on tonight, man. We got good stock on the, the night, baby. Let's try try that poll again. If not, I can take I can take it down and, and then repost it. Take it down and repost it, man. I don't know why why it ain't letting us do it, man. All right, I'm gonna end it. And it's only show we only got is... one person. It, it won't even let me end it, bro. That's how you know it's something up with YouTube, man. Yeah. That is there we go. It lets you yeah, end it now. I'm gonna repost it. Those are not the final tallies. I'm gonna repost it. So please vote again. <laughs> hey man, but OJ passed away. Uh also will the Dallas Cowboys draft the quarterback? How much trouble are they in? Uh how much are the how much trouble are the Cowboys, Bills, Vikings in with Lamb, Parsons, Jefferson, no shows for voluntary workouts. You know what? When they when they trying to get these long term deals, I don't think they go go to. There's no need for them to really go to these voluntary workouts, man. But the uh, rumblings the rumblings are that C D Lamb ain't showing up for that new deal. Period. Well, uh, him and him and uh, uh Justin Jefferson trying waiting to get paid. So Justin yeah, Jefferson, Justin Jefferson, Justin Jefferson is waiting to see what they give C D and what they give uh. uh um, and I think CD CD people is doing the same thing. They waiting to see what they get. JJ. They get JJ. And JJ yeah. is also wait, JJ's also waiting to see what they gonna do in this draft too. Right. Yeah, if they, don't be, come, they don't come with some good. He out. <laughs> you're right. Before before he ink a long term deal, JJ got to get a quarterback, man. And JJ, hey JJ, gonna make sure before he put pen to paper. Hey. Before he put pen in the paper, JJ go say, "Hey, what y'all finna do, cuz? <laughs> what we gonna do, cuz? Like the sleep, number bed, the sleep number bed ain't a, the sleep number bed ain't enough. Hey, we got the number number eleven pick. You got to give me a gunslinger, baby. I mean, there's some out there. If I was there, I'd right. go get Penix. Michael Penix. If I was there, I'd go get Penix." All right, poll is reposted. Get your votes in. Michael Penix. So we are we are that's that's the let the Vikings got the eleventh pick. So are you saying will Caleb will get Caleb and will Jaden Daniels, he'll probably be gone. He'll be will gone. Drake, will Drake Maine be gone? He'll be gone. The Penix, the only one I think is slipped to them is, is Penix. You think McCarthy Unless they and really Bo move Nix up. Be gone too? You think McCarthy and I Bo Nix? I didn't will be say gone? go get Bo Nix. <laughs> hey, but I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just going by the draft order. So you got Bears one, Commanders two, uh, the Patriots three. So we we automatically say one, two, three. Them three quarterbacks gone. Fourth pick is Arizona. Nah, fifth pick Chargers. They're not taking a nah. quarterback. Arizona ain't taking one with four. Chargers not taking one with five. The Giants are iffy at six. Uh, the Titans ain't taking nobody at seven. The uh, Falcons ain't taking nobody at uh, – the Falcons ain't taking nobody at eight. The Birds ain't taking nobody at nine. The Jets ain't taking nobody at ten. So they got 11, so – you think about it. You will have Michael Penix available. You will have, I mean, if you go one, two, and three with those three quarterbacks that we discussed earlier, uh, Jaden Daniels, Caleb, and uh, and uh, Drake Main, those one, two, and three, they off the board. You still go, J.J. McCarthy can fall to him. Oh, Nick, I can think fall that's, to I him. think that's who they're targeting. And I don't, Penix. I don't, J.J. McCarthy. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. He's not he's not explosive enough. I mean, he was in an offense where he, he they mostly ran. He didn't really have to pass the ball that much. I mean, granted, if he goes to Minnesota, you got Aaron Jones back there to get the ball to. That's great, but he got he got some help. I want somebody that came from a passing offense. If you got those weapons, and then Aaron Jones just you know cherry on the top. And see, Bo Nix was that was that quarterback that was handing off the ball. He went to the air very rarely, but Michigan relied on their running game. Am I correct? 
Correct. So so he will hey if you wanna if you wanna keep uh JJ happy and keep him up there in Minnesota, you better not draft McCarthy because he will hand the ball. Aaron Jones is love him. Cause he gonna hand the ball off to Aaron Jones quite a bit, but like you say, uh, Michael Penix or uh, your boy gonna be there uh, could be there for uh, a sneak attack. Spencer Rattler. That's my dark horse quarterback. He could be there. You you just ain't you just ain't sold on Joe Milton the third man. That's the next nah, Cam dude, he's, Newton he's, dog. He's, his he ass next, needed. To hit the next Cam Newton, dog. He got too much. He still got too many holes in his game, man. That dude can't hit the bra side of a barn. Like he, yeah, he can throw the shit eighty yards, but he misses wide open people. He has no accuracy. You act like Cam wasn't just that same fucking quarterback when he came. But in this the motherfucker league. don't run, BP. Oh, he a big. Ass, he a two hundred and fifty pound pocket passer. He don't want to run. Hey man, when that heat get on his ass, he gonna pull it down and go, man. Hey, and the hooker hey. was lights light years ahead of. But but like light I years say, ahead, man, and Joe don't Milton. don't forget don't forget why we sitting here talking about all these quarterbacks. Hooker should be fully recovered from that that knee injury. Golf, oh, uh, I think, is entering his last year of his contract. This is gonna be another learning year for Hooker, though. I mean, yeah, but let let what if golf go down? He has to get ready and be prepared if golf goes down. But uh, we know that Hooker is their guy for the yeah. future. That's their guy long term. And then it ain't costing them shit. They got him in the third round. Yep. You you still got that money that's gonna be available, but uh, you got that. You got that that's available. So yeah, our uh, apologies, folks. Apparently the polls are broken tonight. Uh it's some it's some 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 chicanery going on. It is reason, it's a lot it's of not chicanery tabulous, going on. And you can't can't uh, get a bit of fold through. So we'll try to put this same poll up Thursday. Man, I cannot wait to see this first round of this NFL draft, man. I just, I just want to see what, what else is gonna happen like before the draft. Cause it is it, it it's not set in stone. Some teams can still swap spots. And looking at these mock drafts, it looks like your boy Bowers and then slipped a little bit. They, they got, got him money. going. They got him going to. Um, oh shit! What team did I see them going to? Uh, oh, they got. I just man, they they got Malik Neighbors, the number three overall pick behind Marvin Harrison. Wide receiver, man, out of LSU. I thought Odunze was better than Neighbors. Shit, Jay Daniels made Neighbors. I'm telling you, Jay Daniels was the one that got Neighbors. What he doing right now, man? Because uh, yep. you think about it, man. I mean, who else need a wide receiver? If uh, Marvin Harrison, it's a good possibility he go slide down no, he going to the they, Cardinals. He going to the know, Cardinals. You know what? You can take some gambles if you some if you you can possibly take a few gambles up there if you the uh, Patriots or the uh, Commanders. You can take a gamble and snatch a Marvin Harrison, and then you can turn back around later on in that first round and got you yank you a quarterback. Because if you look at it, all the teams didn't that's didn't, in, didn't 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 Tuddy go and get uh one of the free agent quarterbacks? Because I know they got Eckler, they got Bobby Wagner, and they picked up somebody else. They made like four solid moves in the offseason. I think they got Zach Ertz too. Yeah, so they they kind of retooled. They, Tuddy, out, Tuddy they, just, kinda, they need that quarterback though. They need the quarterback. But 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 if they can maneuver because you think about it all the teams from the vikings on down you got the vikings at 11 that's they say that's that's probably a quarterback spot the broncos do they get a quarterback huh they they got porn star right there's no there's no quarterback for them to get then you got the raiders at 13 the raiders could have 
They might not be sold on O'Connell. They could probably take a quarterback. Well, yeah, you think about it. You don't want to take no gamble, man. If you want to get your lock up your franchise quarterback, you better get him now and be done with it. I mean, you already lost your 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 you got Adams out there, and that's pretty much it. Cause you lost uh Jacobs. Yeah, and don't be surprised if Adams somehow gets end up traded, dog. In New York. I'm, I'm I'm just waiting for it. He gonna end up and he gonna end up in New York. Don't be surprised. They would get hey the Jets to give away some big pick. Hey, the Jets to give away some big picks. The only person they won't give away that will not be touchable is uh Reese Hall. Is a uh, Garrett Wilson. I don't think they'll trade Garrett Wilson for Devontae. Oh, no, no. The point is is having them both there. Because yeah. they did pick up, they did pick up another wide receiver to help. So now they got a little bit of depth. They do. They do. And they got the depth, man. But man, I'm just looking at these best available, man. Why don't you pull it up? Pull it up, man, so the so the people can see it. Let's pull up the best available so our fans yeah, can put my hat back on. It's getting a little little toasty in my office here. I had to cool me down a bit and put my hat see back what? on. Let them see, take a peek at our best availables. Who is best available on the market, baby? There we go. ESPN. Damn, these motherfuckers making this closer than what it's supposed to be, man. (laughs) Man. I'm I'm sitting over you. You see why? I'm over quiet. I'm like, you fools had an 18 point lead. Jerk chicken, man. <laughs> Jerk chicken. I guess man. I guess y'all are trying to die to smoke. It appears so. Y'all trying All to right. die to smoke. Uh, you know we ain't scared we made about no smoke, baby. Okay, here we I go. These are, so here here we go with the uh best availables and stuff, man. So you got Caleb, Marvin, Malik Neighbors, Jaden Daniels, Joe Alt, Drake Main. Dallas Turner, Romeo Duzane, McCarthy, Keon Mitchell, Troy. Uh, this is the other. This oh, this is the guard. This is the little interior lineman. Terion Arnold, Brock Bowers, all the way down to thirteen. Yeah, I see he been he been slipping. Yeah, they they ain't so they ain't so good on that injury, man. Jared. Latu Lata, Mims, Cooper, Dijon. I got to look at the tight ends, man, because, you know, tight end USA is Iowa. Iowa. I don't think they got one this year. Time to hit another shot. Eric Hall. Oh. Six four two forty five. Nope. They don't got no they big. Don't, they don't have one this year. Uh uh-uh. uh. Usually them Iowa tight ends are like top five. Stover is an interesting uh option. Hey, right, D'Angelo. Brown sugar, baby. Really? This the one right here. Jatavion Sanders. This is the tight end they sleeping on, man. This cat can, this cat, hey, this cat can do it, boy. So is he another Kyle Pitts? No, hell no. He's another. Uh, he is another. I would say he is more like a Hawkinson, man. He can mm. go get the football, man. And then CC boy. K Stover, this one for good. He he gonna be the steal of the tight end draft this year, man. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, as much as I don't like Ohio State, this cat can ball, and and I will. I'm definitely gonna draft him because people go sleep on him, and it all depends on what team he's gonna end up going to, man. They go sleep on this dude, and I'm gonna snatch him up from a lot of people, man. 
Bro, I'm gonna snatch who, him up from a know, lot of people. Who you think you're talking to? Because you know I'm notorious for later in drafts taking rookies. <laughs> hey man, I am the dark horse burner, how baby. You, how you think I how you think I ended up with Stroud in the damn 13th round? Yeah. Hey man, like I ended up yeah, uh, yeah, Zion, Cat's, gonna, Zion be, Cat's hurt? gonna be pissed. Cat's gonna be pissed when this draft come back around. Oh yeah, hey, I'm gonna keep my boy down there. Like, like this I, mother. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. I, what, what's my boy? The tight end. Uh, I'm talking about Dalton. I mean, uh, 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 from Detroit. Oh shit! Uh, I got him in a bunch of other leagues except the two win. Oh, I, I, snatched, I snatched him in the 13th, partner. Why you got him in the bottom of the Damn, uh, what's his, how do we forget his name that fast? Uh, Laporta. 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 Sam, yep, Laporta. Sam Laporta. Sam Laporta. Goddamn right. I spent Laporta late, baby. Hey, and then I drafted uh, Zay Flowers in the ninth. So that's my top half keeper. And Laporta in the 13th. Hey, you, I, hey, you motherfuckers going to be – Yeah, y'all in trouble this year, man. <laughs> y'all in trouble this year, man. I got Laporta and – Flowers? Oh, oh man. And we ain't even talking about now. See, I, I drafted see DP. see I drafted DP. JJ with my number one overall pick. Now the thing is, do I keep JJ? I don't it depends on I don't know. You man. Ain't you gonna know. But you, you didn't see my top half you know. sleeping. Who's your top half keeper, D? I will not reveal that, but uh, I can gonna, go. I, I can always go back and look at the look. At you can go draft. and look, and you you look at it. You be like, I know exactly who he gonna keep. Oh, I can go back and look. I can and I can tell you who you gonna keep, brother. I can tell you who you gonna keep. Hey man, but uh, NFL draft coming up, man. It will be fun. It will be definitely fun. Uh, NBA. Then we gonna go down what the hell? We gonna slide on out of here, man. Uh, Blake Griffin retires again. <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna finally give it up for real for real this time? I think so. I hope so. There is nowhere there is nowhere for him to go. Hey coach, is Blake Griffin gonna give it up, man? Already man, that see that's how you know. Hey, so the late if anybody has is, any Anybody has any kind words for Blake Griffin? Go ahead and get it out now, cause he is. Shout out to Carrot Top, I baby. Didn't... Shout out, shout I out heard. to Carrot Top. Carrot Top is giving him up. Uh, Carrot Top was still actually doing comedy. Man, yes. Now I'm talking about Blake Griffin. That's who Carrot Top. Oh, you call him Carrot Top? Okay. <laughs> Blake Griffin. Man, sit your ass down. Sit your ass down, Blake. Hang him up, brother. Playoff, hey, uh, got the play-in game going on right now. The Lakers, 104. Uh, New Orleans, 102. 35 seconds left. Oh, boy. What they up 18? Lake, Lake, Lakers jerked off an 18-point lead. Hey, uh, it's 14.8 seconds left. AD just got fouled. Hey, CC, oh, that's cute. CC, did CD. you switch to the Cardinal shirt, too? CD, yeah, CC. CC, shut the hell up, man. Cause you keep your head on. Let me mute my ass, man. CC, your TV ahead of mine, man. Shit, shut up. How is my TV a whole like fourteen seconds ahead of yours? Because I got the fire stick. That's how, motherfucker. Yeah. See what happens is it has to go to the satellite and then to his router and then to his stick and then to the TV. I would if I had that man sit your ass button down, I would press that button right to the fire stick. Man, sit your ass down. Thank you. <laughs> oh man. Hey, hey, D. Mute, D. Uh, mute yourself, D. Oh, I'll say, uh, damn, we muting people now. That's why it's fucked up, BP. Uh uh-uh. no, man. <laughs> Silence, you funny fool. Silence. Basically, you don't want me to say nothing right now, right? Jeff, 
<laughs> you don't want to know what you don't want me to say nothing right now, huh? Uh-uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna watch this. Hell yeah, I'm watch this. Hey, Jimmy, time don't, out, don't, man. Do, don't do that shit. Hey, we might as well just wait, wait for this final to drop. Uh-uh. No, nah, don't tell me they did a four-point play, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you that. He put on some shades, man. Stop. Your eyes telling it all. Put some sunglasses <laughs> on. Shit. <laughs> I ain't even time out, people. What are you talking about? Man. CCI is just telling the whole story, man. See if I can... That's going to be the story right the there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go, baby. Oh! Boom! You How you going to take my video off? Just yeah, like yeah, that. Cut you off. He cut my video off. Yeah. Your rent's due, motherfucker. You lousy bastard. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He said, you lousy bastard. He said, you lousy bastard. That's when you know. That's when you know somebody loves you. They call you a lousy ass bastard. That's when you know. Yeah, they love you. you gotta give each other shit, man. That's how you know you got a real friend. Hey, man, I am so. Hey, CC. I ain't to look, man. All right, that thirty-five seconds should be over by now. What's what's going on? Because his son is lagging. I'm on 10 seconds. They took the time out, I told you. They took the time out, but I'm on 10 seconds. I'm on 10 seconds, too. All right, here we go. Hey, you got Austin Reed going to the line? Yeah. What's the score? We caught up now, I think. Yeah, he just 107-104 Lakers. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well. didn't throw, he didn't shoot his first free throw yet. Lakers win this. They got they locked in the seventh seed, right? The Lakers needed to win this game. The Lakers needed to win this game regardless. Because hey, if, if if you gonna beat them, oh you gonna man, beat that's some booty. If you gonna beat them, yeah. you gonna beat them. But if you gonna lose to them, you gonna lose to them. Right. Pretty but much. It, it, it is what it is. It don't matter. And for the Lakers, to be completely honest, the Lakers would want to face Denver. The day, the Lakers would want to face Denver in the first round instead of in quote unquote the Western Conference Finals, right? Uh-huh. Because AD LeBron oh, let's just start off that LeBron's old. AD right. is injury prone. They need so, to win this game. So, yeah, they need to win this game. Keep soft. So, they need to win this game so that they got three days off before the, before the first round starts. Then they got the gap in between games. They don't, if they had managed to somehow were to make it through. Like if they would, if they would have did whatever they, if they, if they would have did whatever, um, everybody was saying that they should do is lose this game. Cause I believe, I, I, I think that the Kings playing without Herder and Malik Monk is gonna hurt them against the Warriors. Hey, you know what? I think I I think we want the smoke. We want to we want to play the team that knocked us out and went to the NBA Finals and won the chip. That's what we want. We want to beat the champs. Damn it! Give us two. I want my I, I want to, I want I want my fan. Give them to us. Damn. We want them. I ain't gonna say they want it, but what LeBron's not gonna do is look like he look like he uh oh, is like he was dying or something. LeBron's <laughs> never gonna LeBron's gonna never wanna come off like he died or anything. Jeff always not the eight drama. 
Hey man, we we want the smoke, man. That's what we want, man. Give it to us, man. We take Denver. We ain't mad, man. We ain't mad. I'm gonna tell you what to make a Denver. I'll tell you what the Lakers really did want to do. More, more so, more so than the Lakers not wanting to uh, care about playing Denver. They didn't want to end up in a one-off elimination game against the Warriors or the Kings. That's hey, what they didn't want to do. Y'all better worry about winning tonight. That's all I'm gonna say. Y'all better worry about winning tonight. You better, y'all better make sure Dady Red come to play tonight. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Make sure they come to play tonight. What'd you say? When does he not? So, so the New Orleans, New Orleans played the winner, Golden State to Sacramento, right for the last seed, right? Yeah. But the thing is, though, man, we play Golden State. I, 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 I'd rather play Denver than Golden State. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know. I would rather play Denver than Golden State. And and God, and they say we try to throw the game and hell, we throw the game against uh New Orleans. Hell, we be at home sitting off in the playoff. That ain't gonna happen. Hey, I'd rather take my chances seven games with Denver than one game with Golden State. I'd rather take seven with Denver than one with Golden State. Call it respect. Call it what you want. Yeah. I do not want to see them in no one and done. No way. Ain't no way. One and this. No, sir. No way in hell. Period. Point blank. Uh-uh. Can't do that. Why not? An old school trophy. All right, man. Uh, Golden State now for the kickoff uh, momentarily. Uh, let's go on do these what the hells, and then we're gonna slide on out of here. Cece got her what the hell, and I'm gonna queue it up for. You know, I think I think the head coach of the Bulls should have already interviewed for the Kentucky job because this right here is what this man has to deal with. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, here we go. Here's CC. What the hell, man? Make it big. Make it big, champ. Here we go. Watch this. Rock Donovan has never stopped moving. That's a steal from Drummond. Andre Drummond knocked it free. And Tory Quagg! Oh, no! And they both missed the dog. Oh, no, you got to be kidding me. Oh, my. Shaq to the fool. Oh, my. Oh, Night wow. hurt himself. A timeout. Oh my goodness! Wow. Billy Donovan is furious right and now, Drummond and Andre hurt. Drummond is hurt oh, after all that. Man, you got to be kidding me! If that wasn't the most emblematic possession of the Bulls season, I don't know what is. Wow, bro! Come Between on. Between a steal, a missed dunk with miscommunication, and then an injury, that was your Bulls season in one sequence. Well, I think Torrey Craig was throwing up to himself, and I think Dr Drummond, Drummond thought, thought it was he was throwing it to him. Oh man, that's oof. I see, I see that. Wow. And now the concern is with Drummond at the other end after he had landed awkwardly. Uh, now the Here's voting what is we working. Saw right at the end there, Drummond. Ankle. That left, looked like the left foot, left ankle. Now he went down and is being tended to now. So watch Andre Drummond's left foot here. He's going to roll that left foot or ankle. Oh, 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 man. Okay, let me see the more. Put that away. Yeah, oh, no, it's, it's, no. it's tough to see. Turn away oh, if you're, if you're oh, man, squeamish. I hate, I hate he actually had to be taken off on angle, a wheelchair man. against a large man who needed some help getting off. He, You could tell he was frustrated. Unbelievable. Man. Was he frustrated or embarrassed? Billy Donovan, go back to college, man. You got a good job lined up for you at Kentucky. Billy Donovan, go to college. Go to Kentucky, Billy. You got complete and total autonomy. Uh, 
national champion back to back until not until the Yukon Huskies did it this year, Billy Donovan. You was the only, the only coach that won back to back chips, man. So uh back to Kentucky. I think the poll working out, D. I think yeah, yeah the poll's fixing. working. Uh get your get your votes in, folks. Uh we on the last leg of the show. We we tried to do this earlier, but the vote was acting weird, but it's working now. Get your yeah, vote in. We got weird. we got three back in so far. Yeah, bro. all right, all right. Now we get five, six. There we go. There we go. They jumping on in there now, baby. CC. So what you got to tell the Bulls and Andre Drum? Man, what the hell? What I mean, the hell, man? it was not that was not an alley oop to, to you, man. <laughs> Oh, Message down. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's worse, Be, him thinking it was an alley oop to him, right? Or right. Tory Craig throwing it off the glass to himself and missing it, and not knowing your teammates right behind you. All Unbelievable! Right. Unbelievable! Or hey, man, Coach just Corey, go you duck gotta, the damn ball. <laughs> that's it. Just dunk it. Don't try to just show dunk it. It's still just, don't show just, just, just dunk the ball. Like, just like, dunk the ball. Was, why were you trying to throw it off the backboard? Like, what, what was the whole It's not a dunk point? contest. Why you were you trying to throw it off the backboard? You don't do that until, until uh, when 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 the game is out of reach. You got a convincing win, and you're trying to get a fan something to ooh and ah about. Not not the second quarter, and not drumming. Go be probably out for an extended period of time and stuff. I mean, they would be ready to go home anyway because they've been eliminated from the plug postseason for like a month and a half or two months now. Well, they, hey, they play Atlanta in the team oh, no. uh, play in. Oh, no, that's right. No, that, 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 I'm, th I'm thinking of Toronto. I'm thinking uh -uh. of Toronto. They, they, they play Atlanta in the 9-10 uh, the matchup. Oh, that just sucks even more. Yeah. Cause they, We're already cause... in the play -in. Why? Why do something stupid, man? Hey, Billy Donovan, go back to uh go go back to college. Go to go to KU, man. Hey, it won't be no pressure it. on you. <laughs> hey, it, it's not gonna be no pressure on you, Billy. You're gonna have a great time. You're gonna run stuff. Go for it. Coach Corey, you gotta what the hell? <laughs> I need you to put it in the I need you to put it in the chat so I can pull it up. So you see, pull Coach Co put Coach Corey uh what the hell for the group meet to our chat. Okay. D but while she doing that, Dino, you gotta what the hell? Yeah, I don't I don't have video for mine, so I'll just go ahead and do it. Um uh, as I said earlier in the show, uh I've I've had a pretty tough week last week, uh starting with fucking MoDOT and work doing construction on Highway 55, oh, knowing an eclipse was coming there, there, seven years in advance. That is my fucking uh, we're, not, we're not gonna oh, lament on that, but I'm just gonna throw that out one last time. We're still talking about fucking that goddamn start planning MoDOT shit. Situation. Plan shit's a little better than what you're doing right now, but we we not even talk about more. Girl. We ta we talking about motherfuckers that is not want to work. So I've been trying to get some work done here at the house. I've been trying to get some landscaping done. Now I had a, had a couple Mexican guys come by, right? I'm thinking, all right, it's the win. They said I'm not gonna sit out in a couple days. They ain't gonna bust me upside the head with the price. So the first guy comes by, pulls me at 500. I'm trying to get him a thing. Trying to make, trying to, you know, spruce up the place, a little landscaping. Mm -hmm. I knew it wasn't going to be 500, but I was like, okay, he started low. This shouldn't be too bad. So my man came back a couple of days later. He said, yeah, well, now the quote's 12. I said, okay, um, well, what if I want to use new stones? Let's not use the stones I got out there. Let's get some new ones. He's like, okay. So, and I said, well, can you give me some shrubs too? All right. My man went from 1,200 to 28. I said, um, 
Or are, are, are you getting these stones from like Stonehenge or like what the fuck? Like how how did you go up three times the original quote? All Damn. right, so I went back to my app. Let me shoot this out to some old people. So I get another Mexican guy. He comes over, right around the same price, but he, he you know he took a little bit more time and walked me through and told me about the cost of the materials and whatnot. This was two weeks ago, and I still don't have a quote. So I go back to my app. I said, okay, let me let me find somebody else. So I hit up this other company. They send the guy out. This dude talking 4500 Same job. 4500 Same, Same fucking job. And that's just the precursor to the other job I had done. Had some work done on the deck. This man wanted me to pay him before the job was done. You know, you try to, you try, you try to, you try to go with the bros. You know, you try to patronize the brothers. Like, hey, you know, I see you trying to, you trying to hustle. You got your business, okay? You, I see you do pretty good work. When I say unprofessional, when I say egregious, now nah, don't get me wrong, he do good work, but all the rest of it was an intermediated disaster. And the man hounded me to pay the balance for. Five days. And I kept telling the man, what and what part of America do you get paid for incomplete work? I'll wait if anybody wants to tell me. Man, you don't hey man, you gotta do Anything the job. Anywhere man. in this country you get paid into when you take your car to the mechanic, do you does he say, or oh, you have to pay me up front before they do the work, or you pay when the work's done? You pay when the work is complete. And when you go to the hospital, do they charge you when your ass get in the bed or when you get discharged and, and the services have been rendered? When services has been rendered. Rendered. So that's my what the hell, man. My what the hell goes out to the labor. Like, the, what the fuck, man? Like, do y'all not want to work? Y'all can't Damn. pull this Gen Z shit. Like, look, if they get they get to the point where they don't work, we really fucked. Oh, we bad. We bad. We fucked. <laughs> hey, man. All right. Damn, that was a good one, D. I like that. <laughs> hey, hey, I thought you... <laughs> Hey, I thought you still gonna be on the damn uh, motor. Oh, I had to start off with them motherfuckers, man. I'm still pissed, <laughs> bastards. Hey, here go, Coach Corey. What the hell? Let me share with Coach Corey, y'all, with Coach Corey. What the hell is, man? Uh, I, I got a real quick one when we jump off the air. I didn't even want to do this one on air because it, it's so gross. I'm not even gonna put it out on air. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh man, he's flopping like soccer now. Oh, oh my god. Say, coach, to LeBron. Man, you got to say, LeBron James, coach. Thank you. 
That's the king for you, man. Hey, man, let me show you, child, my what the hell, man. I got a couple of them, man. A couple short, short and sweet, man. Oh, man. Hey, man, my first what the hell. Y'all better leave these damn animals alone, man. I, what, did, what did I tell y'all earlier? <laughs> what, did, what did we tell you earlier? I'm you to there you go. There you go, buddy. There you go. Well, y'all got me chained up like I'm a damn dog. Killer. I'm a killer. The animal. Oh, man, I want. I want the whole bucket. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Hey man, speaking of that, man. Pick up my boy Jose, man. I can't even see it. Don't get your hand in that mouth. He just a bad baby. He just a baby. Hey, oh, 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 that's a damn shark. That's a shark. That's not like a puffer fish, man. That's a fucking shark, man. Why? And, and pain, you ain't got right nothing here. protecting and pain, you. no better. Pain. Oh, oh. She tried to kiss a snake. Why, why in the fuck would you try to kiss a snake? Hey, oh, you deserve oh. it for being stupid. Why would you try to kiss a snake in the mouth? Who man? in the hell tries to kiss a snake? Kiss a snake, man. Oh, I can't forget about my boy here. He's not the. É que o cara desse faz uma presepada dessa, velho. Woohoo! Woohoo! Que que passa na cabeça do cidadão de fazer isso? Rapaz, como é que o cara desse faz uma presepada dessa? O que que passa na cabeça do cidadão de fazer isso? Cê é doido. Rapaz, como é que o cara desse faz uma presepada dessa? O que que você faz dele? Ah, 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 Passa na cabeça do cidadão de fazer isso. Cê é Hey man, have people? I, I'm sure. I'm sure people have been doing this shit forever, but the fact that it's now being recorded makes people look even more stupid. Hey man, when I say I seen some dumb stuff in my time, man, I just seen some dumb stuff. And 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 Dino, Dino, what you? Hey, you always say send the asteroid, right? Er, bruh, that. Shit, okay. where my sound at? Here's, hold on, here's the one right here. Hold on. 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 My granny, nigga, stop fucking playing with me. Fuck wrong with you. Bitch ass, nigga. Ain't nobody gonna come and you just got slapped. Bitch, go back to teaching. That's so fast. Oh! Not once, but twice. You think that affected me anyway? You want me to hit you again? I don't want it. You want me to hit you again? 
I don't want it. Oh my god. Oh. Fuck oh. fucking playing with me. Oh. I told you those dumbass, I'm not those dumbass glass off your fucking face. And do I look like I care? What the fuck wrong with you? What you gonna do, still sit in that chair? You use a bitch. My grand. Did you see the comments? And you, it, and hey, you wonder why the and you wonder why the teachers are all quitting. His family would be would definitely be hosting a fish fry or setting up a GoFundMe for his funeral expenses. <laughs> hey man, this dude, man, and, and the thing is, this teacher was a transgender teacher. So uh they from the LBGTQ. Uh, community and everything, man, and uh, transgender teacher, man. So he actually put his hands on a man. I mean, he put his hands on a woman, man. That, yeah, based off the LGBT. We we community. we not gonna say what he put his hands on. We just looking at it's teacher student and the shit shouldn't have happened. We don't need to bring that the alphabet community into it. Hey, man, but they go take offense to this, man, because. That that is something that that needs to be done, man, and and uh, it, it that was just crazy, man. And uh, the last the last I got to show. Hey, this is one more thing. So tell me about your relationship with Jeff. Um, I'm actually you better not. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that with their remarks. CC. 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 You better not. <laughs> if your, hey, hey, if Zyder would have did that to you, what you would have did, CC? What? Look, look, look. look. Why she all in the phone? You duck lipping it. <laughs> so stop your duck lipping. Get off the phone. So tell me about your relationship with Jeff. Um, I'm actually. Well, that's you better not. <laughs> he, he, turned, he turned it around to the heavy part. The face. <laughs> I know CC. Little man, hey, won't he, be able to, he he, he won't flipped, be able to sit down for a long, long time, right, CC? Hey, he flipped that mug around to the to the heavy part of the remote where the battery's at. <laughs> Amen. Put you like this. His mama told him he was doing something. I forgot. And he said, she said, get Gigi. He said, no, no. Hey, we got a question in the chat, BP, from Timothy Taylor. Ashley, go ahead and shoot your question, Tim. Yes, Tim, you can ask us a sports question anytime, my brother. Go ahead and ask us, Tim. You could be a hey, more than, we'd be more than happy to answer any sports questions you got for us, Tim. Well, stop sharing so I can get my sound back because I, I got to say my. Hold on. I got one more before we go, man. And th and this is the one that's just going to have you like, man, come on, man. We got to do better, man. Because I, hey, me and Dino, Dino talk about this and it's not dealing with Uncle Creepy. This is the funniest thing, man, with this guy right here, man. I want y'all to hear it. Listen to it. How does you're backed by one of the arguably one of the greatest of all time, right? What, 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 what are we rating ourselves on? What are we rating on? Okay, the, well, 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 we gonna know in the least amount of fights. You know, I didn't have to have 70 fights, or 150 fights, 300 fights. D did I did I not beat the most world champions? Yes, you did. Okay. And in the least amount of fights? Yes, you did. <coughs> Who got the highest gate? Floyd Mayweather. Who made the most money? You did. Who who was the most accurate fighter of all time? You were. So it's basically saying that the greatest of all time. Okay. All right. <laughs> no disrespect, champ. No disrespect. Right here. Man, hey. And the reason why I, did, by one I, of the, I was laughing at the dude's voice who interviewed him. You did. Arguably one of the greatest of all time. Right? He he got a, he had one of the uh DJ after seven voices, man. Listen to him, man. Okay, the, uh, well, 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 we gonna know in the least amount of fights. You know, I didn't have to have seventy fights or one hundred and fifty fights, three hundred fights. D did I did I not beat the most world champions? Yes, you did. Okay. And in the least amount of fights. Yes, you did. Who got the highest gate? Floyd Mayweather. Who made the most money? You did. Who who was the most accurate fighter of all time? You were. So it's basically saying that the greatest of all time. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hey man, that's, that's uh, hey. how you can change the narrative real, real quick. Hey man, did you the, the brother just handled that so smooth? You did, you were.
What did what All right, did it put his question in the chat, man. man hit it real quick. All right, man. That was our hey man. All the people that mess with them animals, man. What the hell, man? You got to do better, man. Leave these animals alone. Tim, thank you for joining in, man. His question was: If Ice Cube was white, do you think Caitlin Clark would have accepted the Ice Cube five million dollar offer? That's yeah. a good question, Tim. That's a great question. That is Absolutely a not. great question. Nope, because money's green. This is true. Money but green. you know what? You know what? It. I'm gonna tell you this right now. It, it, it would have been as, more as than five we, million dollars. I think. I think it would have been way more. As, it would have been as, higher, as, maybe. As, as much as as much as the big three has its has its um its fan base and its notoriety, the big t the big three is not pulling State Farm, Buick, Gatorade, and Nike as sponsors and endorsers. Yeah. So Gatorade and, and State Farm are not about to pay Caitlin Clark as to endorse their products playing for the big three. Right. She loses that money. She loses that money. So he have to for all of that missing money. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not as simple as we go. It's the you know it's the pay payday for the big three. Kaylin Clark will probably be making somewhere around eight to nine million dollars a year because of endorsement. Yeah, I can see that. She, she's at three and a half million on nil deals. They play in the WNBA. I can see that. Now you gonna put her in game in, in um in commercials with CP3 with she probably get up with Steph and yeah. probably get a get a she probably gonna get a commercial with LeBron man. <laughs> Oh, Ice Cube was going to allow her to play in the WNBA and the Big Three. I mean, they are opposite seasons, so she could, she could do both. Yeah, but it's, just a, it's, 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 it's a gimmick. You want to be taken seriously as an athlete, you don't gimmick it. It, it, it would have been difficult, though. I, I can really say that it would have been difficult for her to play in both. The, the, really, the, 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 really the, the There's nothing the, for her to be true. I don't know why I people mean, are making a big deal out of it. Right. They make it. not for her. Yeah. The big three is for retired. NBA players who can no longer play full court basketball. Mm. That's yeah. what the big three is for. You got 40 and 50 year old, you got 50 year old playing on the big three. Okay. Man. NBA you know, players who still. Damn, NBA that's it. 80K? <laughs> 80K, Tim? That's it? Yeah. 80K. Yeah. They don't have the they don't have the they don't have the TV pool. They don't the have NBA the sponsor has. of the TV. Yeah, right. So they ain't you got, got you so. got people that's going to corporate America making more than that. Yeah. You know, like I said, you don't have the you don't you don't have the TV money to back this up. That's the problem. Because yeah. like right now, like right now, we're watching the play-in tournament on TNT, right? Yeah. TNT has games every Tuesday, every Thursday. ESPN has games every Wednesday and Friday, right? ABC's right. got the weekend. ABC got the weekend. You don't have WNBA games on regular Saturday. You don't have to have a big cable package to watch NBA games. Damn, you gonna get a spin fact, brother. You gonna get a minimum of about seven or eight NBA games a week without having to have NBA league pass. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tim, uh, Tim put another good He said Dr. J turned down uh, the NBA to play in the ABA out of college because they offer more money. Yeah. That was the Same ABA. thing with uh, Jim, Jim Kelly. Uh, he went to the USFL. He didn't go straight to the NFL out of college. Herschel yeah. Walker, same thing. Money, money talk, man. Money talk. Money talk, dog. And uh, the money, the money did a lot of talking, debating, serenading, whatever you want to call it. Money did talk. Yeah, but man. I think, but but the ABA, the ABA, he was still playing against fair oh his age and other you know athletes of the you know of the same caliber. He wasn't playing against old men. Yeah. Big three is the professional version of YMCA of YMCA football basketball. And the old man league at the YMCA. They just getting paid. It's the Tandy League, baby. <laughs> hey man, hey. Honey, do talk though, man. Hey. The doctor, the good doctor turned down the NBA, going to the ABA, and he's a Hall of Famer in both, the ABA and the NBA. Yeah. Okay. When the big three start having Hall of Fame players, and you get NBA players going there instead of playing, going to, you get college players going there instead of the NBA. Let me ask you this question. If uh, if uh, if our boy was still living, Kobe Bean, do you think he would have played in the big three? Hell, hell no, he didn't have no reason to. He said, he said as much, he said, Hell no, <laughs> he you think he would have owned one of the big three teams? <laughs> no, he wouldn't have wasted his time. No, if Kobe, if Kobe, if Kobe, if Kobe Bryant had it was still alive. He would be in women's basketball because that's where his daughter was. You think you think he would you think he would have probably been part owner of the Sparks? He might have done something like that. <laughs> I was I was. But he was gonna have this. He was gonna have this on WNBA and women's college basketball because that's where his daughter was going. Did, is that a true? Wasn't that true that they say Gino Oriana Oriema offered a Gigi a scholarship when she was in seventh grade? Oh, He's trying to pluck her early. <laughs> uh huh. They she good. Them, them jeans, man. Yeah, she, she, she had his She had his face. She had his face away down pat. Hey, before, oh, yeah. you, uh, shut, before you shut it down, BP, I'm a uh, poll result to end. Uh, the question of the night was uh, who was the best quarterback in the NFL draft? 80, I'm sorry, 62% of the vote says Jay Daniels, the Heisman Trophy winner. With Caleb Williams, Drake May, and Michael Penix each getting one vote. You know what? If I was the Bears, I would, and I told Crawford this, me and Crawford had this conversation. I said, if I was the Bears, I'll go and I'll turn around and I'll draft Marvin Harrison at number one. And then when you get that second first round pick at the nine, you go get your quarterback then. That ain't going to be your franchise quarterback. Or you just draft Jaden Daniels at nine at number one overall. That's your franchise. Well, I, I figured that's what it was going to take because Caleb Williams is from the D.C. area. Let him go back home and <laughs> Tim crazy. He said, which is the best Harold's chicken in Chicago? <laughs> I can't tell you, Tim. I only had one. Hey, uh, hey I don't even hey, remember the, what city I was in when I had it. <laughs> hey, the Harold's is the one that's best. It's on the, it's on the south side. Right down, hey, it's on off uh, Harlem. I think that's the only uh, one I had off Harlem. Hey man, hey man, <laughs> hey man, her, hey. Uh, but I tell you what, chick is gonna be better than that Harold's. Oh, this shit. motherfucking three piece crunchy BP about to get your boy. <laughs> 
this is fun. Without a doubt. <laughs> he tried to tell him, man. Old Doc Rivers. Old Doc. Old bloody man. Dickery, dickery Doc. Hey man, the best house oh, chicken man is on is on Madison, man. No, no, no. I take oh, that back. It's on uh, East 79th Street. <laughs> hey, that's the best house chicken on East 79th, man. They good as oh man, they they amazing, man. Harold's chicken on East uh 808. It won't East be a Doc Rivers over. <laughs> oh no, nah, it won't be that. If Doc Rivers take over, it won't be. I don't think so, Tim. One hundred twenty-seven in Halstead. Oh no, man! I like that. I have to. I, like I have to ask the wifey about that. She's from Chicago, so I, I'll find out. Hey, man! I know it's on Seventy Ninth Street. They so good on Seventy Ninth Street, boy. Hey, man! Tim, thank you for just chiming in, man. We appreciate you jumping in. Appreciate you, Crawford, Percy, everybody that jumped in tonight, man. Another amazing episode of No Balls, No Glory. We appreciate you guys jumping in. Tune in on, tune in on Thursday, man. We're going to be a short, sweet rendition of it. We're going to see what's going on in this playoffs. We're going to see if these Golden State Warriors survive tonight and will play Thursday. Hey, man, for the crew here at No Balls, No Glory, man. Don't slide out of here. Peace out, baby.